Hi there, this is Miss Nelson again, and today I'm going to show you how to assign a math test in Think Central. So log into Think Central, and then you're going to go into your resources here or here, it doesn't really matter. And on the next screen, you will pick your subject and your grade level. Now for math, this is a little bit different than um, the gateway that it has for reading. You're going to have to scroll down to where you see this. Um, it looks like a test question. It says Go Math Florida Common Core Online Assessment System for grade four. You click in there and it'll pull up all the tests for the whole year that you can assign. So the next test that we are on in my class is chapter 13. So chapter 13 is here. You're going to push assign. It'll take you back to this page here, your assignments page, where you name it. So I just put math chapter 13 test. And then, just like um, when you assign a reading test, you click your class group for the year, the current year, and it'll pull up all of your students that you've put into Think Central. I add all of them, and then I take out the ones that I don't want to take this test, um, meaning that they get um, math help someplace else or else they need to take a paper test. So I just highlight them and I remove them. So I have two in my class that so do not take the math test with the rest of us. So after I do that, then I go down here and I'm going to look through my test. I'm going to select the questions because I want to make sure that these are things that I've covered well, really well and that the, I know the kids are prepared for. And if there's one that's kind of tricky, I will take that out. So I expand all and then I go through and I look at the test questions and make sure it's something that I that I have covered. If there's one that I don't like that doesn't make sense or I just know I haven't covered very well, you just uncheck it and then it won't be on the test. So after you've gone through all of them and you've taken out the ones that you don't want, you press save and then you press save again. You say, okay, I'm going to create a new assignment, that's fine. And then it'll be here on your assignments list. So anytime you press the assignments and you hover over here to list, you'll be able to see your assignment. So that was Math Chapter 13 Test. It's due on 328.14, which you can also change here in Edit, like if everybody's not done yet. You can click Edit and you can go back down. This is where you started just a second ago. You can go back down here to the settings. This is where you would change the dates that it's available. And you can also choose the times that it's available, like if you think kids are going to go home maybe and um, do it and you don't want them to. You can just put just school hours in here. Um, you can also put a password for this test so that they can't do it until um, you've given them the password. Like if you've assigned it ahead of time like, um, and you think your kids might see it at home and just go ahead and take it, you don't want them to do that. You might want to put a password in here so that you have to give them the password before they're allowed to take the test. So anyway, after you make ch any changes, you'll press save again with your new changes. And I'm going to push cancel because I didn't really want to make any changes. Um, and it'll go back here where I can review it again and make sure it's there. It says 0 out of 20 kids have taken this test. It'll show me when all my kids have taken it, like these say 20 out of 20 or 6 out of 6. This was a retake test. I reassigned a different form of Chapter 11 test for my kids who didn't pass it the first time. There were 6 that needed to retake it. And... Um, they haven't started it, and here's where I can edit, delete, or copy the assignment and show answers. Yes, we want to see the answers. So um, I'm just going to go into this past math test to show you what it looks like after they've taken it. So 20 completed it. I press results and prescriptions. And it'll show me all my kiddos that um, mastered it. So remember, mastery is 75% or better. So here's mine that mastered it, and then I had some down here, these six, that did not master it. So I, instead of doing, actually I had way more than six that didn't master this. So instead of doing prescriptions for these guys, which you can do by highlighting a name and viewing and assigning prescriptions, I just uh, taught them, I did a re uh, reteach in class, and then I reassigned form B of the test, which they all passed. So, but if you don't want to do that and you want them to do their prescriptions online rather than doing a reteaching class, you'll highlight the person. And you can only do one at a time. See, if I switch, it'll unhighlight the other one. So you do view and assign prescriptions. 
and then here it'll give you the skills that they need to pass this test. So she got only four out of eight questions about 11.2 degrees, so I can assign this again. And she only got three out of seven questions correct on the same same thing, just different kinds of stuff. And if you press this I here, it'll show you um, the standard description, an angle that turns through um, blah, 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 blah. It'll tell you exactly what they need to practice in order to pass the test. So that is how you assign a um, math test in Things Central. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment. Thanks.